good morning students so this is titus from salam classes <coughs> as per the teacher of dcs international school and uh, dcs psc college today's video lecture will be uh, for 11th class from the book of uh, snapshots okay this is lesson number 2 the address as per the cbc board english score this chapter is written by marga minko okay marga minko so this is a story of uh, holland okay holland is the country that is uh, in a uh, europe uh, continent in this story we may see <coughs> something is very precious and after what it is worthless okay something is very precious but uh, after what it was uh, thought it is worthless especially the story or this incident has been taken place in the world war okay especially i think uh, in this time the uh, it was in the, this country was under of german and um, i think it is the time of uh, nazi or is it the time of uh, hitler as we know that hitler and the nazi they were very you know uh, very cruel and their cruelty that has been uh, found in uh, history so i do not i do not know that is uh, uh, the story is uh, uh, during this time or not but i think it might be because the story is regarding of war okay so let me uh, start this chapter and uh, before entering to this chapter very honestly i request you my dear friends and my dear students don't skip it without watching full video because you are not watching for entertainment you are watching to get knowledge okay you are watching to get knowledge so that is why you think that just you are sitting in a classroom and there is half an hour to 40 minute period okay there is half an hour to 40 minute period even though my students those who are studying in my school they are also not watching completely i know that very clearly when i see the views at time then i could understood very clearly and you know, some of the make a correct comment that they want to say that they have attended this class but when i look the, uh, when i see the watch time then i could understand that uh, how much time they have sit okay let's begin and another request is there so if newly you are watching this video please subscribe it and hit the bell icon also okay so because as much video i have i don't have that much subscribe okay so it is not uh, uh, my intention to gain more subscriber but uh, if i am working uh, if there is no any fruit uh, what will be meaning of that work so that is why i request you anyway it is your will because you are the owner of yourself is it it Ah, yes so let's begin again i tell you let's begin so here we see the narrator of the story see went to holland marconi street and uh, number 46 and the house of darling okay and the house of uh, darling just as he knocked the door that is natural fact if we go to a house 
either we knock the door either we put the calling pen okay that is our yeah, that is natural factor uh, wherever we go uh, first time we do that that may be first time that may be second time that may be third time but if we go to a house so we do it so one lady whose name was uh, darling and she came out from the home and the half opened the door and holding of that door she began to talk with the narrator the narrator was a girl okay the narrator was a girl then the narrator asked her to the lady that she might have known to mrs ss but very sad thing is that she refused very clearly that she doesn't know who is ss even she owned the dress hmm, she owned the dress that is uh, called uh, cardigan and the uh, narrator very clearly uh, recognized that uh, the dress the cardigan which uh, she wore uh, and uh, there supposed to be wooden buttons and there were wooden buttons but now there is no wooden button that might be you know uh, fell down by the washing but that was needed by her and her mother that she very clearly understood and uh, so somehow she was wondering that she is in a right place or not it might be mystic it might be mystic that uh, uh, where she is that may be a wrong address after some time one second that uh, lady came and uh, she said uh, did you not go yet but she thought who narrator thought still i am here but why she asked me that uh, did you not go there as she was talking with the narrator somebody was uh, inside of the room and uh, uh, one who was inside of the room he was also asking that what is going on but the lady uh, was not ready to answer him or her and she said nothing is there so both were talking very clearly but that uh, lady a uh, darling okay she is uh, you know acting just uh, she is uh, uh, she is not recognizing her and to very searchingly very doubtfully ana so very doubtfully she was uh, uh, looking to her she was uh, not uh, 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 talking to her okay so anyway but uh, she said uh, narrator said uh, uh that uh, about her mother she remember something about her mother her mother asked uh, her she is darling and uh, uh, 46 number uh, house and uh, street of marconi okay so somehow both of them talked uh, some time and uh, there is a time of uh, uh, her train and uh, she wanted to talk her but uh, that woman doesn't want to talk with the narrator okay she doesn't want to keep more time to narrator so because of that reason so just as she was confusing before but finally she understood that where she is means narrator where the narrator is that is right place but that lady is uh, refusing that lady is acting that uh, he doesn't know to her and uh, her mother what is the reason she doesn't know about that that may be that may be the lady doesn't want to return all the possession that the narrator and her mother's heart once upon a time anyway she talked with the heart okay after talking okay after talking she wanted to go to the railway station as she was going to the railway station she wandered the street she looked the street and everything is same 
and everything is same so no changes are there and uh, us she was looking that uh, she could remember about her childhood uh, she could remember about her uh, young age okay she could uh, remember about her whole life uh, as much as she spent there you know if after a long time i could go to a particular place where i was staying in my teen age so really if i am there i see everything and i recall i remember all my past days how i was there and what i was doing there like the same way what happened there in uh, during the time of world war and uh, what was the incident has been taken place there everything she was remembering while watching all these things while watching and her surrounding of this street somehow she went uh, to her own place and uh, while he was going sorry while she was going to the railway station just as she was uh, thinking about the incident of what had taken place she remembered uh, one day when she was about to reach the home or when she was about to reach to the you know gate and she saw a bored back lady okay a bored back lady you know actually uh, she couldn't see her face okay the narrator couldn't see her face and uh, she has seen her back side that is why she uh, you know narrate here that narrates here that uh, a bored back lady she went uh, from their home by holding some suitcase or uh, attach or uh, you know some bags etc so just uh, she was uh, away from the home at the same time the narrator was entering to the home okay the narrator entered to the home and uh, she felt uh, something is missing in the home something is missing in the home and she felt that and finally she asked her mother so something is missing there then her mother very clearly answered to her that uh, this is the time of world war we do not know what will happen in future okay we do not know what will happen in future and uh, there may be at any time the soldier or the government may be ordered to us to vacate this place if we vacate this place if we vacate this home so what will happen to our belongings the lady one who went recently so she is my friend and her name is mrs darling she stays marconi street and house number 46 okay uh, she said like this and uh, one day i was discussing with her and uh, she advised me to you know keep all the belonging that you have i will keep it in my home and when the time will be clear so you could uh, take back uh, all your belongings so that is why i am sending all things to her her mother answered like this but uh, the the narrator was not agree with that uh, concern and uh, she was not uh, happy with that uh, concern and uh, both of them they little bit uh, they argued each other and uh, they you know they talked to each other what is going on that may be not good uh, but somehow the things is going on every day that lady comes and uh, takes uh, many things uh, and uh, pa- packing of sacks and packing of uh, na suitcase everything day by day day by day she is uh, you know drawing all these things to her home it was a time after in this time what happened there the because of the world war they have to packet holland and they went somewhere okay they went somewhere and her mother died there 
okay her mother may be tied to Holland and uh, she might be you know uh, went to other place either her mother uh, died there where they have shifted after many some years uh, and uh, her mother died and uh, she thought uh, and uh, she heard the news uh, and there is everything okay in holland the bread color is getting brown okay the bread color is getting brown that means everything is okay peaceful environment is there there was no war there was no fight nothing else is there everything is okay everything is fine once she heard that she could remember about her belongings when her mother was alive she sent their belongings to a particular lady and uh, with a particular lady and her name is uh, darling now she wanted to meet the lady and due to that reason she went to the lady but that lady refused to recognize to her okay that lady refused to recognize to her after some day one second she wanted to go Okay one second she wanted to go uh, to Holland and uh, finally she reached uh, to that home and again she put the bell okay again she put the bell and uh, somebody come out from the home and that day there was not that lady but the daughter of that lady and uh, the narrator says that uh, her back also bored bored like her mother that means it is definite she is the daughter of mrs darling <laughs> then she asked about who mrs darling and uh, the girl one who was 15 years old and uh, that girl answered her to the narrator that her mother is not at home her mother is not at home and uh, she went uh, to somewhere the narrator said uh, that i will wait here okay that the narrator said that she will uh, she will wait there so the girl called her inside but remember previous when she came and when her mother opened the door then her mother didn't call her to come inside because she knew very clearly if she would come or she would enter to the house everything she will see and she could recognize that things is belong to them that may be the reason and now the girl she doesn't know about anything else what is the reason and uh, just uh, politely she called her to come inside uh, and uh, the narrator went inside and uh, sat on a chair or uh, then just uh, she started to waiting to her mother means uh, mrs uh, darling okay in this time the girl the 15 years age girl one who is the daughter of mrs darling she asked her to make tea okay the narrator agreed and uh, she started to make a tea while she was preparing the tea the narrator was observing everything there where she said she was observing everything and uh, uh, as she was uh, sitting there she observed many things that is belong to them the lady before many years uh, she was uh, drawing many things to here and now she is uh, using them okay that things are placed uh, inside of uh, their house and uh, you see there is a table cloth uh, and uh, there was a little hole that also they had she understood very clearly and uh, a candle stand was there and many items were there as she was looking all of them and she was remembering about her mother maybe that is getting little bit pain and agony to her heart okay you know that if somebody died if we see the photograph of him or if we see the things what he was using 
after seeing that uh, we get a little bit disappointed we get a little bit sorrow and we get a little bit sad is it it am i right okay yes i am right so she is also now remembering everything what was happened during that time if he is supposed to not see she is supposed to not remember that okay while the girl was making jingling sound of spoons silver spoons and she also remember about the jingling bell bells what was happening in their home the spoons also she observed that is there and she brought tea with that saucer that was also belonged to them and also she uh, went to other room and uh, she has seen there is a cupboard and there is drawer full of uh, there is full of item inside of the cupboard and uh, that was belonged to them but while she was watching all these things uh, she was getting very shadow and finally she thought uh, if i will take it uh, so definitely it will be making me painting day by day because as long as i see i will remember everything the incident what happened during the world war and what pathetic things happened in my family so that is why it is worthless and she thought another thing she thought another thing that if she would take that what will happen because the home is uh, you know the home is very small the home is very small and uh, inside of this home it is uh, you know a uh, difficult to uh, put all the belongings so that will be also difficult for her that is why she post uh, that is why she cancel to take all the belongings and uh, she suddenly she and I stood up and I said uh, my train time is very near and uh, she went back while she was walking while she was returning just uh, you know uh, before coming of her mother before coming of mrs darling she uh, you now left the home and uh, just uh, as she was uh, wandering everywhere and she said uh, goodbye all my memories all my belongings that should be here i will not take back from poland that means he want to live a peaceful life he wanted to live a peaceful life and he wanted to have a peaceful life and he wanted to you know forget everything what happened okay that was the main thing that is why when i started my lesson i told uh, something that is precious before but something that become worthless after okay thank you may god bless you for watching this video uh, this lecture so if it is possible so you can share it to others also okay you can share to others also because uh, you know i want uh, those students are studying in india and uh, those who don't have to pay tuition fees so they must get the benefit from there you know it is my vision to uh, teach in rajasthan it is my vision to serve for rajasthan and uh, it it uh, i'm not uh, you know making you covetous for taking online classes for collecting fees nothing is there this is free of cost you see but only your data will be exhausting that's all so anyway i know that uh, there are many teachers those who can explain more than me and uh, there is smart board uh, there is uh, you know many things are there many equipment are there but i don't have anything else except uh, my mobile microphone and uh, this uh, blackboard or whiteboard okay thank you may god bless you